We begin tonight with a plan that many people on Vancouver Island think is long overdue. The Capital Regional District wants to manage the South Island deer population, and that could include a cull. The numbers are out of control. A shocking 86,000 black-tailed deer are on Vancouver Island. That's three-quarters of the entire provincial population, and the number is growing. The deer are causing thousands of dollars in damage to crops. They are luring predators into urban areas, and collisions with vehicles are putting people's lives at risk. The CRD says it's time to do something. CTV's Louise Hartland joins us now with the story. Louise. Hudson, deer are causing hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage each year and destroying some people's livelihoods. Dan Ponche has been farming all his life. He is one of few who has put up a deer fence, a two meter high perimeter around his fields. For the most part, it's been pretty good. You just have to remember to the, uh, make sure that everybody keeps closing gates and if you leave things open, the deer will come in and then they get used to that area being op open again. The same cannot be said for some of his neighbors. Uh, it, it can be very devastating for those uh, that haven't been able to fence. Uh, they'll wipe out a crop in, in uh, no time, the amount of deer that are around. The CRD estimates average crop loss between $500 and $25,000 for some farms. Agriculture is not the only concern. ICBC says the number of motor vehicle collisions with deer in the CRD has jumped from just 35 in the year 2000 to 100 in 2010, an average increase of 13% a year. But the problem could be even bigger. This large buck was struck and killed by a car last night on Cedar Hill Crossroad. Saanich Pound has responded to 292 deer-related calls to date this year. More than 115 of those in the past three months, killed or injured by vehicles. Deer are unpredictable. They're wild animals. And when they're on the roadway, you never know what they're going to do. ICBC says animal-related insurance claims in the province have jumped to $30.8 million. The rut is just beginning and uh, the male bucks are all competing with each other and chasing does and all sorts of things. So people need to be aware of that and they need to slow down. No one from the CRD would appear on camera today. A report by the Planning, Transportation and Protective Services Committee says a management plan needs to be adopted to decide the best way to oversee the population. That could include relocation, sterilization, and ultimately a cull. But the cost of developing the plan could be upwards of $225,000. The Ministry of Environment says it will offer in-kind support, but no financial assistance will be available. Dan knows time, money, and options are running out for some of his fellow farmers. Some of the large farms, they say they can't afford a fence. And so they have to be able to do something else. And I can't see anything else but being able to cull them. That may be the only way to keep their farms alive. The deer management plan is scheduled to be discussed at tomorrow's CRD meeting. The CRD is quick to point out there are still a number of steps and options to consider before a cull is ordered. Part of the plan would include a study period to collect data on how much damage the deer are doing and how they should properly deal with them. After a similar process, the city of Cranbrook is moving forward with a deer cull to reduce the population. Hudson. All right, Louise, thank you.